think you're doing? So you're not an undercover cop? No. Just a nosy Parker? He's going out with my sister-in-law and we're doing a lot of business with him. I was checking him out. What's so strange about that? What did you expect to see him sneaking a dead body into the boot of his car? Loading up some knock-off machine guns? He told me he was a liar and a womanizer. Yeah, well, I was upset. So what? He's good as gold, is he? Does a lot of work for charity. You know him better than anybody else. You tell me, darling. Should I be worried? Okay. I've admitted I was spying on Tony, but what about you? You don't live together anymore. Sorry, is it illegal to walk down the street? I only asked. Got a flat round the corner. Okay. I know what time he leaves for work, so I like to get a paper and check on him in the mornings. Check he hasn't moved her into our house. Karma. He'll destroy her. What? Explain. There's no middle ground with Tony. He likes to possess things, things and people, and it works. I mean, look at me. After everything he's done, I'm still following him around. I'm still hooked. I'm still slapping anyone who looks like taking him away from me. What did he do to you? He likes to be in control. It's just the way he is. You can't control another person. Yeah, Tony can. He likes to call the shots. Where you go, what you do, what you wear. Everything is decided by Tony. Sounds like he's a control freak. You better have out of it, love. No, oh, I love him. More now than ever. Yeah, but... He will chew Carla up and he'll spit her out. And then he'll come back to me. He loves me. Bim, you've got 17 messages. We need to talk. No, we need to work. I spoke to Lindsay. Lindsay. Tony's ex, the one who smacked you in the face. Now, why would you want to speak to Lindsay? In fact, how did you speak to Lindsay? Okay, but well, I was only doing this because, one, I care about you, and two, I care even more about who we're in business with. Did what, Liam? I was checking out Tony. Checking out Tony, how? Staking out his house, I was gonna follow him, but Lindsay spied me and... Who are you, Columbo? Well, somebody had to do something. Why? What's he done? Has he offended you by offering us loads of work? I mean, we've got a fantastic deal with him, so what do we do? We knuckle down. We get the order finished. We work hard. Oh, no, we don't. We go lurking in his bushes. I knew you'd go off on one. What if he saw you, Liam? What's he gonna think? I'll tell you what he'll think. He'll think, I've just got myself involved with the biggest bunch of cowboys on the planet. Have you finished? No, I have not finished. I'm just warming up. You are doing my head in. Can I get a word in edgeways? Okay. Mr. Private Detective. What did you see on your stakeout? It's not what I saw, it's what Lindsay told me. Oh, you know what? I don't want to know, to be honest. Anything that woman has to say is inadmissible in this court. All right. So you don't want to know what she said? No. You're seeing this bloke. Oh, and she's his bitter, punch-throwing ex. Why would I be interested in anything she's got to say? Oh, I think you'd want to know. Okay. Did she tell you that uh, they were still living together? No. That they were still sleeping together? No. Did she tell you that he used to rough her up? No. No. Did she tell you that he drink drives, sleeps with prostitutes and cheats at golf? Sorry to interrupt, but it's dinner time. We cast a coin to see who would ask if we could go to lunch. I lost. Mm. Well, I'll go on then. Close it on the way out. That was way out of order. You wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for Paul. Neither would you. We're doing more and more business with this bloke, and we don't know him. So when his wife tells me that he's a liar and a manipulator and a control freak, then I think it's time we started taking notice. And as you seem to have the hots for him, I think you should take notice and all. Hey, his wife, well, ex, she slapped me. 
And I wasn't ready for it. You know, if she wants to fight next time, I will put her on her back. She was giving you a warning. Yeah, and I got it loud and clear. She's nuts, Liam. I mean, what's she still hanging around for, eh? Frankly, she's as obsessed with Tony as you are. We're in too deep with this bloke. We should pull back. Oh, why? Are you jealous? Me? Jealous of Tony? <laughs> Listen, you don't owe me anything just because we kissed. Oh! Where's this come from? I realise your twisted little mind is a little bit confused right now. But you know what? I'd concentrate on your new girlfriend, because me and you ain't gonna happen. You think I'm interested in you? And you think she's nuts? Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, your hostility to Tony. I think you feel threatened. You are so far out of it, you have no idea. Really? Are you sure you don't want to rip my clothes off right here and now, eh? Ravish me in the reject knicker bin. I don't know why I bother. You and Tony are a match made in heaven. If he likes not, is he? He's gonna love you, Carla. Truth hurts, don't it, Liam? Eh? Hey? Truth hurts! So why aren't you more upset about this? What's you upset about? You think I haven't checked out people I've done business with in the past? This is not about business. It's about my nosy brother-in-law poking his nose into my private life. He cares about you. There's no harm in it. Oh, so you're happy about it, are you? Him interrogating your ex-wife, digging up dirt? Lindsay does not need much of a push when it comes to dishing the dirt on me. The only thing that worries me is you might believe some of her paranoid ramblings. I'm still recovering from my black eye, remember? Why don't we go tonight? Let me make it up to you. No, I don't think so. Do we have a problem? No. I'm just tired. I'm tired of arguing with my stupid brother-in-law. I'm just tired, full stop, all right? It's not about anything else. Maybe tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. Come here. Do me a favour. Enjoy your rest. I will. Oh, shit. Can I come in? Yeah. Liam, I'm sorry. Me too. The things I said, I shouldn't have said them and I don't blame you for going off. I just needed to clear me out. Yeah, or you'd have hit me. Sorry. Tony came round and I told him. I was stupid. Mm. Yeah, well, the weird thing is, was he wasn't that bothered. Yeah? Good. What we like, eh? We know what buttons to push. Yeah, well, it makes you wonder if we keep on pushing them, something is going to happen. Like we'll be found on the factory floor having strangled each other. Uh, something like that, yeah. What did he say, Tony? He said that he's done the same sort of thing himself, only he's not got caught. Well, I don't know about him, but his ex is a bit nuts. Whether being with him drove or nuts or she was nuts already, I don't know. I can handle myself. I know. He said he wanted to go out tonight, but I didn't feel like it. Not because of... No. No, you know. Just sometimes you feel other things are right, and sometimes they're not. Yeah. Any chance of a drink, Liam? Uh, I think, yeah, I think we've got some wine in the fridge. Is Jamie not home? He's doing a night shift. Did I miss anything this afternoon? No, not really. Where were you? Ah, well, now that's another story. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, of course you can. I know I've been a little, um, little bit mad since Paul died. You and me both. But it's just like... My head won't stop spinning. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. I know. It's like the whole world's turned upside down. Well, that's normal. Is it? Don't feel normal. 
Feels like I'm falling through space waiting for someone to catch me. Then out of all the confusion, suddenly, just for one second, everything becomes clear. That happened to me this afternoon. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, you were right. Look, this is probably going to blow your mind, but I proposed to Maria and she said, yeah, and we're going to get married. I told you it was crazy, but not crazy, if you know what I mean, because it's what I want and it's, it's the right thing to do. Hi, gorgeous. Yeah. Yo. Is this woman great or what? Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Sorry, I told her. <laughs> but don't go tell anyone else, because we're going to break the news properly tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah. Lips are sealed. Mm. That's great news. Yeah, it's great. It's like my, my life's finally got a direction and it's full steam ahead. Oh. You must be really pleased. Yeah, it's just all happening so fast, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, well, that's all Liam, isn't it? He's full of surprises. <laughs> I'd best be off. Oh, at least stay and have a drink. No, thanks. I, uh, I remember I've got stuff to do. Do it yourself. I'm really pleased. For you both. Good night, then. See you. Good night. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> a cold six-pack and the most beautiful woman in the world. This is the life. Hey, and I bought crisps as well. <laughs> hey, Tony, it's me. Yeah, I've changed my mind. Too late to do something. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't know, really. I just did a bit of thinking, you know. Decided it's time to move on. Get my life sorted out. And that's how the factory. Come and get me, eh? <laughs> 